What it is that you envision with this product that you're bringing to light? In, in, our, in my experience, the software uh, and the industry standard tools right now in the music business are very much behind the curve. Um, there's been these tools that have been um, standard for years that people have just gotten used to. And um, you know, there's millions of people around the United States, just, just in the United States alone, that do write songs. And that's not to mention the people that write songs that haven't even registered um, or officially you know, become professional songwriters at this point. What we're working on and what we're doing right now is, is creating a tool where it's a bridge between that simple uh, piece of software that helps you capture the idea that you have and the big, clunky, complicated, expensive piece of software that helps you realize the full potential of that idea. We're trying to break down the barriers to creativity uh, and, and give people the tools to be able to take steps um, that can make them better and more creative. And I think that even from an audio engineer standpoint, these things are, are more functional job roles. It's not as creative. And so to get those out of the way, to get the artificial intelligence to take on the tasks that are getting in the way of being creative, and being able to use your brain power for the creative side of things, I think that is gonna be the value in this. It's, it's not destroying a job, it's not um, necessarily even creating new jobs, it's shifting the way that people are doing their jobs and allowing for more creativity, which in our minds is gonna create a higher quality of, of music and a higher, higher quality of output from everybody. The fact that now we make it easier to create music, does it imply that more people will create music? I would say so. The example I always use is Instagram. Think about professional photography before Instagram. There, it costs a lot to buy an SLR camera, understand how to use it, go out and take the pictures. The people at Instagram and, and other companies at the time figured out that simple features, simple filters, simple effects can make your picture look that much better. And in turn, the ecosystem saw the power of that. And you saw that Apple was building better cameras in their phones. And now, to be a quote unquote professional photographer doesn't necessarily require school, doesn't necessarily require uh, expensive camera. Uh, of course, it opened and it opened up uh, this community to a lot of other people. Now, that's not to say that, you know, you're not still gonna have that sort of bell curve where the, the very top best photographers are, are still a small portion of it, but it opens it up to more people to have the option to understand that industry and, and maybe find a passion for something that they normally wouldn't have had access to in the past. So how does artificial intelligence really play a role here? The, the simplest way to describe it is if you can imagine an audio engineer in a studio and that person is responsible uh, most of the time for setting up microphones, getting good tones on your recording, being able to adjust the levels. I mean, and just be a human being in the room that helps to give uh, advice or feedback from a third party perspective. So for example, you are singing in a booth. An audio engineer can sit there with their eyes and their ears, they know, okay, I'm recording a vocal track. And then if you sing and you're off pitch, they can say, okay, well, we can either use auto-tune to get you in tune, or we can tell you to t do another take. For us, artificial intelligence replaces that role of the audio engineer. We can do audio recognition to understand what it is that's being recorded. We can understand if it's on pitch or not, and be able to suggest maybe either automatically apply auto-tune or um, ask you to do a, another take if um, that's a good suggestion, understand the mood of the song, so on and so forth. Uh, and so if you can understand all of these things, you can then make relevant suggestions to the user and guide them through the process without having to pay uh, for the studio time or for these you know, expensive engineers. How do you expect the user will react to this new wave of technology around audio? You know, for me, just co-writing with other people and getting their perspective on the world and working together with them uh, was such a valuable experience for me as a human being. And I think that if there's tools out there that can enable people who are interested in music to connect with other people that are interested in music, you'll have these these connections that people aren't having. You know, you, you, you talk about, people talk about Facebook and Instagram and social media connecting people, but they're connecting them on, you know, a visual text-based level to actually create something together, to create a song um, that's born out of maybe a, an emotional experience from somebody and for having somebody collaborate with the other person on that is, is, is a sort of a paradigm that we don't have in our day-to-day -day lives. And it's something that I crave a lot after I've gone through it a couple of times and a lot of people haven't had that experience. So I think just from a, a human connection standpoint, uh, it's gonna help people be, I think, more free thinking and, and have a different level of uh, respect for each other and, and connection that they can you know, use in their everyday life.